Hey guys, Mel and Brendan here from All Around Oz. We've been lucky enough to be road testing this lovely little Coromel Element 553 van over the last couple of weeks with thanks to Green RV on the Sunshine Coast and Coromel Windsor Caravans. So we thought you might like to have a little look around. So come on inside and we'll see what it's got to offer. So come on in guys. So the first thing you'll see is we've got this nice little dinette seating area. So really nice and comfy seats, plenty of cupboards up above and I really like these little pigeon holes that are here. Great for just storing stuff during the day so she can get it off the table. We've got our laptop up there and a couple of magazines. So over on this side we've got our kitchen area. So again loads of storage up top. So push button to open, not much left in there, we've eaten it all. A uh, really good sized sink. The only thing I probably don't like is it's got a really small plug, which is really hard to get out because you have to put it in really firmly so as it doesn't leak. Cooktop with just a grill, no oven, which means that I've then got a really generous storage drawer underneath here for saucepans and whatnot. All the drawers are soft close, so you can't slam them. Okay. Dometic 190 litre fridge freezer, so we've been really happy with how it's worked. Um, freezes really nicely and plenty of room for all our food inside. Nice little bathroom, um, no washing machine in this one so that gives you a little bit of extra storage there's a shelf there that we can put shoes and that on probably the only thing that lets down the overall quality of the fittings is that this is a plastic hand basin and it does detract a little bit from the overall finish of the van otherwise the finish in the van is really nice it's got a nice timber laminate floor um, nice muted colors so yeah you can accessorize it with whatever you like and yeah it looks really nice and modern so down this end we've got a queen size bed now it is an extendable bed so it has got the 100 millimeter insert at the head we've got it fully extended out at the moment because we've been parked up for a couple of days so you can fold that up um, when you're traveling to give you a little bit more room to walk around so there's some really good storage in here. So there's three cupboards above and two cupboards on the side with hanging space. So um, individual lights on each side. And this one also has a window at the back as well that you can open up and let a bit of breeze in at night time. Now the one feature in this van that I do really like are these pigeon holes at the side of the bed. So they've got a power point and USB point in there. So perfect spot to pop your glasses if you wear them, um, any medication that you might need or to be able to charge your phone overnight. So I didn't think I was a big fan of these shelves, but they are actually really handy to um, pop your book on or put a water bottle on overnight. So I have got used to those over the last couple of weeks and I do like them. So, um, lovely big windows um, with the two-way blinds in them and once these block out blinds are closed you really don't get any light in here so um, great for having a sleep in if that's what you want to do. Some roof um, vents so really nice to let a breeze in of an afternoon um, especially if you're free camping like we are at the moment and can't use air conditioning. Um, nice little TV that swivels round so you can either sit in the dinette and watch it or lay in bed and watch it. To be honest we don't use it, we've had it on once. Um, we use the stereo more which is also a really good feature. It's got a um, USB plug in it so you can put some of your own music on a USB stick like we do and if you can't get radio reception you'll always have music. So that's about it guys i hope you've enjoyed having a look around our little home on wheels for the last couple of weeks well guys time to have a look around the outside of this van 
um, we've had a ton of fun towing this thing. It's a great little van. Tows nice behind the car. D doesn't wander around all over the place. Seems to handle very well. But we'll run through a few of the features. This van that we've got, we've tested with a few additional features. It's got it's got an off-road pack or an X pack or something with it, which I'll go through the extra features as we go around. Normal side tow hitch, toolbox on the front. A um, little bit. That's one of the extras. The gas bottles are actually in the toolbox on the front of the van now, in the extras pack that we've got instead of sitting outside. One of the things I didn't like, which I hope you can see in the photos is the tap down the bottom here on the A-frame. They've gone to all the trouble to put a guard in front of the tap, but the guard only protects the tap. They've left all the plastic fittings and everything down below the guard. That's going to be the first thing something takes out. That's about the only thing I don't like on the outside of this van. The rest of it's been finished really, really well. Grab handles on the side. It's got a nice protection, padded protection section down the front for stones. Full size through box um, hatch on the other side as well so it is full distance right the way through carefree awning um, haven't had anything to do with the carefree awning anymore very light action um, very happy with the awning it did a very good job as you can see up over the top two external speakers controlled from the inside from the stereo on the inside and two fairly decent little LED lights all of this van has got LED lights right the way through it saves on the battery power all inside lights and all external lights are all LED power outlet another thing we found really really handy is this van is full of USB ports so we can charge stuff we've got USB ports on the outside of the van we've got USB ports beside the bed we've got USB ports around the dinette in the kitchen area fantastic idea love USB ports they're only low power ports, they're only one amps. They could be nozzled up a bit, but yeah, they did the job well. Standard outdoor table, um, key lock, drop down, very handy accessory on most vans now. Go the wheels. This, these things, uh, this van element, the 553, is standard with 15 inch wheels. In this pack that we've got, these wheels are 16 inch diameter wheels and full alloy. And in the pack we also get a full alloy spare wheel whereas as they come standard with a steel wheel um, that's just one of the extra features that we've tested this van at normal um, metal step pull out nice and easy to put away um, the four stabilizing legs in each corner of the van are the heavy duty alco ones um, yeah they work well they drop down easy they swing away easy they adjust really easily all in all this is a great van and we'll keep continuing around, we'll have a look around the back. All right. Around the back of the van now, nice clean plain lines, composite panel on the back, nice and smooth. As I said before about the spare wheel, this wheel is a 16 inch alloy spare, which is part of the extra pack that we've travelled with this van with. They're normally a stand got a steel 15 inch spare. Um, three bar, rear bar. Drain plug for your grey water comes out of the back and high tail lights. Very smooth, clean lines on the back of the van. Looks good. Right, I'm going to have a wander down the driver's side of the van now, on the right hand side. Just the usual, pretty much standard thing down this side. Smaller, smaller window for the ensuite. Hot water. The hot water here is both gas and electric, so great to have both um, options. Door for your loo, vents for your fridge. Another thing this van's got that's not on the standard element is it's got two water tanks. It's got one behind the axle and another one in front of the axle to even the weight out. Mains water hookup, uh, simple for caravan parks. Another thing I didn't mention on the other side is with this upgraded pack and you go to 16 inch wheels, these tyres are Bridgestone jewelers and they're the 16 inch light truck tyre. So you get a light truck tyre, nice and heavy to drag them wherever you want to drag them. They're also on the Easy Tow independent suspension, which I've got a couple of photos of here. This suspension is a very different design to what I've seen before. It's got little travel, but makes the van handle remarkably well. It's been a very easy thing to tow. The windows in this van are all double glazed windows. Pretty standard these days. Good, great for keeping the heat out in the summertime and the heat in in the wintertime. 240 volt inlet for your caravan parks and your power supply. Um, and that's about it. Yeah, wander down this side. Full-size tunnel boot. This is the other side of the tunnel boot we looked at on the other side of the van. 
that completes this side. Um, if we duck up onto the roof, see up there now we've got Vineguard digital antenna. Also on this roof is um, a 150 watt solar panel. This van in standard spec is solar wired, but it hasn't got the panel or the battery. This van is complete with the panel and the battery as part of the pack. The battery's underneath the bed inside the van. Um, plenty of hatches up on the roof. It's got a positive ventilation hatch to keep the dust out if you're out in the, main, out in the other roads, out in the back roads. Yeah, all in all, yeah, great van, great little van. Melissa and I would like to take the opportunity to thank Green RV on the Sunshine Coast and Coromel for the chance to road test this fantastic little van. Whatever you want to do with this van, whether you want to park it in the yard and take it out on the weekends, or whether you want to take it out for three or four weeks, it really would be a great choice. The Coromel Element 553 in the spec that we've got it here is a fantastic van. Thanks for watching. Safe travels.